Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to increase your FPS on Identity 5 because uh, you know Identity 5 limits your FPS to 30 FPS. If you didn't know this, um, I would open my game right now to prove this. Um, let's wait for a while. I'm just going to log in. As you can see, it limits it to 38 FPS. I'm going to log in just to make sure it caps at 38 FPS. And as we can see, it caps at 38 FPS right here. And I am I am on the high. And my high it's on high FPS. It doesn't uh, it doesn't affect per affect performance if I go to performance mode as we can see here. See it still limits to 38, 39. Actually we can go to 60 FPS by doing these settings. Let me just turn off the game and go to uh, NVIDIA control panel if you're using NVIDIA. I am not sure how to do this on AMD but for NVIDIA, just go to Manage 3D Settings, Program Settings, and then go to Identity 5. If you, you do not see Identity 5, you can, you can add that here. Let's wait for it for a while. And then the DWRG, that's the one you want to select and then add selected program. Now, for the settings, Make sure that virtual setting, vertical sync is turned off because this, this limits your frame to 60 if you are using a 60 hertz monitor. Now, low latency mode, I prefer it on just for gaming reasons. And this is the important part. Set the max frame rate to something like 60. I prefer 60 because that's my frame rate monitor anyways. I don't know if it goes beyond 60 actually. Uh, but you can make sure if you have 144, just type 144. I'm not sure if it works. But to be sure, go to 60. And then click apply. Then we're, we're good to go. Uh, as a proof of concept, let's open Identity 5 again. As you can see, it's reaching 60 right now. 58, 59. It's much higher than the original. And it's on 16 millisecond delay right now. And it moves much smoother. If you didn't notice, you will notice the difference if you play with 60 FPS. Just trust me. Anyways, uh, that's it for the video. Thanks guys.